We all have times in our lives when we need to see something change. Something needs to be different. It could be in our own lives, our family's lives, our church, our ministry, our business. It could even be in our nation. We need to see a change. Hi, I'm Dave Early, and I want to talk to you today about how you can change history through prayer. I don't know about you, but there have been times in my life when I wondered, does prayer really make a difference? I want to tell you, according to the Bible, according to experience, the answer is yes. You can change history through prayer. When I was 24 years old, I had been hired to be the campus pastor of a Christian university that had 3,000 students. I, was, I had no staff. I was way over my head. It was a challenging job. I was also in graduate school full time. It was very difficult, newly married. I came to that winter break and I was struggling in my faith. Does prayer make a difference? Does anything make a difference? I was fasting and praying, reading through the Psalms, and I came to a Psalm that changed my life. Have you ever read a verse that jumped out at you? Well, this verse jumped out at me. Psalm 106, verse 23. God had been talking in this psalm about how Israel had rebelled, had rebelled, had rebelled, and finally he was fed up. And it says in Psalm 106, verse 23, so he said, I'm going to destroy them. But then it says, had not Moses, his chosen one, stood in the gap, stood in the breach, stood in the place of intercession, prayer, stood in the place of prayer to turn away his wrath. God was going to destroy Israel, but Moses stepped in through prayer and changed history for an entire nation. Prayer makes a difference. Well, the rest of the story is the student leaders came back a day early before the beginning of the semester, and we're going to start the semester with a, uh, uh, several days of spiritual emphasis. Well, it was to begin on a Sunday night. I went to pick the speaker up from the airport, and I could tell he wasn't spiritually ready to lead us through several days of spiritual emphasis. So I was really praying. And the students, the student leaders, had, when I shared with them this verse, they had prayed all night that God would show up and work on our campus during this week of spiritual emphasis. And even though the speaker wasn't really ready and wasn't really uh, all that great, God was great. God moved. God spoke. Uh, the invitation that night lasted an hour and a half. God moved in a big way. Why? Because the students had prayed, and prayer changed history. So prayer changed history. Uh, when Moses prayed for Israel, Moses changed history through prayer. Do you know that Elijah also changed history through prayer? We read in the New Testament book of James that Elijah was a man just like us. Not, not special, a man just like us, it says in James 5.17. Uh, yet he prayed earnestly. He prayed earnestly, and what happened? It says that it would not rain, and it didn't rain for three and a half years in Israel. He prayed earnestly that it wouldn't rain, and it didn't rain for three years and a half years. Then he prayed again, and the heavens opened, and the downpours came. He changed the weather. He changed history. It got the attention of Israel, and he did it through prayer. Prayer changes history. Prayer changes the weather. When uh, our church was going to have a big event on a Saturday in April, uh, an Easter event, the, the, the weathermen have been predicting rain for our community all week long. It was supposed to have tons of rain, and it was going to wash out our event so we couldn't have it. Yet many of us prayed that God would not uh, let it rain prior to and during that event, and it didn't rain. It was perfectly dry. We had a great event. The weatherman actually said it's... It's unexplainable, but there was a donut of dryness around our community, Grove City. There was a donut of dryness this weekend over Grove City. Why did that happen? How did we, how did we change the weather? Through prayer. 
You can change history through prayer. Yeah, you can. You see, it even says that in the book of James. It says in James 5.16, the, the effectual, the intense, the fervent, the, the, the uh, all-in prayer of the righteous person, the person right with God, avails much. It accomplishes much. It's very, very powerful. It can change history. So I'm going to encourage you, pray today with new faith, Pray with new vigor. Pray about that impossible situation. Pray believing. Pray expecting because prayer can change history.